You know, an, an, another issue I see so often in screenplays is obvious exposition. And sometimes this is with a voiced voiceover narration on page one that's almost as long as page one. Oof. And it's, it's just laying down, here's the stuff that you need to know. But also, and it's usually in the first 10 pages of the script, we have characters telling each other things they already know. Yes. You know, for, for, yeah. for example, oh, how long have we been married, darling? <laughs> oh, 10 years. Remember our honeymoon? Where was it? Oh, yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah. And that's just, they're not talking to themselves. No. They're talking to the audience. So you, you, you want to make sure in your dialogue, in particular your early dialogue, that the exposition is emerging naturally into the conversations. You don't have to give us everything all at once. I, I agree with you 100%. I find when working with students, dialogue is the most difficult thing for them mm -hmm. to teach and yeah. to understand and to get to. And it just gets down to how do people talk? Because people don't speak in complete sentences. People use abbreviations. No. Other people get cut off by someone else. I mean, there's so much to dialogue. No people speak the same. Um, you know, if you're if you're frustrated, you you have a different tone, and you you'll use different type of language. Um, and I always find dialogue is kind of like that last step it is. for for writers to really. It's yeah. the last thing to come, and uh, you know interruptions characters interrupt each other and characters are often on on two trains two different t trains of thought yep my favorite example of that is th those first eight pages of social network that aaron sorkin wrote where right. the two characters are often on in two different trains of thought and it's handled beautifully it's just worth looking at that yeah the social network yeah. is uh is is a classic but i mean i mean it's it's aaron sorkin <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, good yeah he's if you could point out west wing you could point out the steve jobs film they're all but i know he labors clock. over it it's not like yeah. he sits down and writes eight pages and he's done oh he no labors over it i guarantee you aaron sorkin's first draft is 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 his worst draft you know we yeah. all have that terrible first draft and then i always say the magic is in the rewrite so um, exactly yeah i agree with you and 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 getting into um exposition uh you know this is a visual medium but it's written that's the tricky part and i always tell everybody screenwriting is the most difficult literary art there is because you can cheat in other stuff yeah. screenwriting there is no cheating there is no yeah and, and yeah. novelists who are who think it's going to be easy oh. they find out they can't include internal dialogue and that's what one of the things that makes a novel work, but you can't do it in a screenplay. You can't. You can't voice over a character's thoughts unless it's a broad comedy, you know, or something. Well, you're getting into what's the big joke with the old Dune movie, right? Everybody's always talking in their brain. And you go, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. totally it. Yeah, you can't, you can't do it. And the one thing I've noticed, um, novelists do do that. And then when I'm working with them, I go like, this is not filmable. I have to, ha you have to have things that we can see on screen. I can't see inside the pa the, the guy's mind. Right. I, can't, I can't, you know, look at his neurons firing and trying to express what his inner thoughts are. So yeah, we have to show it. Yeah. So true, so true.